CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. Testing sites bursting at the seams and hospitals overwhelmed with patients. The end of the year surge is moving quickly into 2021. And good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Hello, I'm Sarah Donchi. This is CBS 2 News at 5, and we are streaming on CBS NLA. So the first weekend of the new year is proving just how daunting L.A. County's battle against coronavirus will be. We're still waiting for the new numbers. The New Year's Day case and death tolls were disturbingly high, but that was partly due to a backlog in processing. Yeah, in meantime, Orange County reported more than 4,400 confirmed infections. 26 more people have died, pushing the death toll past 1,900. Nearly 2,100 patients remain hospitalized, a quarter of them in the ICU. And tonight, there is an effort underway to improve one of L.A.'s massive testing sites. And the federal government is sending some help to hospitals overwhelmed by this surge. CBS 2's Rick Montanez has the latest on our pandemic response. The nation's largest COVID-19 testing site, Dodger Stadium, shut down this first weekend of the year for expansion. This one being the largest one is closed down for two days because we have thousands of traffic cones that have to be set up. For months, we've seen the streets in and around Dodger Stadium crowded with cars as people wait to get into the parking lot for a COVID test. To alleviate congestion in the neighborhood around the stadium, Dodgers and the city negotiated to open a second parking lot with enough space for more than 600 cars. The L.A. Fire and Transportation Departments are setting this up right now. And we're working in conjunction with uh, Department of Transportation to help us engineer the lanes in a safe manner and put out these thousands of traffic cones that are necessary uh, for the four lanes of traffic. Testing for roughly 13,300 people per day will continue at Dodger Stadium on Monday. Meanwhile, L.A. area hospitals are still facing capacity issues as they treat the most critically ill. This weekend, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has deployed to help. We're trying to assess how we can reduce the strain on their facilities and their mechanical spaces. Some hospitals have reported issues with oxygen flow in systems that typically do not handle the demand of overflowing emergency rooms and intensive care units. The O2 oxygen levels, um, just because of the increased demand, they're freezing. Um, so And so how do you... Uh, increase capacity so that the system doesn't freeze and they can maintain uh, oxygen distribution uh, where they need it. The Army Corps has assessed five hospitals so far with two more scheduled for Sunday. Beverly Hospital has already been visited by the Army Corps. The hospital tells us its oxygen delivery system is fully functioning for its needs. Reporting in Montebello, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.